and I welcome you back to the Debrenic channel. And today we're going to be talking about Lake Mead, Lake Powell, Lake Havasu. And this is a Lake Mead update strictly. And I'll do a Lake Orville update here in a little bit as I have nothing but time as it is snowing like crazy here at the Debrenic headquarters. And if you think this is worthy of a like and at the end of the video, please consider giving that a like and a thumbs up and a subscribe and hit the bell notification. As we roll out to windy.com, you can clearly see that that Colorado has a little bit of precipitation coming through anywhere between a half and a quarter of an inch all the way down and over here as well. So we go out to the live cam here and you can see this treasure webcam here. See people are having a blast. It looks like it's snowing and that is good news for the Colorados as we roll back out. We we'll go up to Fort Collins here. You can see Fort Collins here. You can see there's snow on the ground. Overcast skies, very little precipitation. And this was taken at 12.01. And then we come down here to Vail, Colorado. And you can see at the ski resort there, entering the zone it says, you got people skiing and a little bit of overcast with a little bit of sun peeking through there. And as we roll out here, you can see that, so they're gonna get some precipitation from this and about 0.72 there, all the way up here to Colorado Springs half inch of snow over here at Denver 0.48 Aspen over here 0.25 we go to snow accumulation and the snow accumulation for the next three days 3.3 a little bit up here by Aspen 2.4 Vail 2.5 Steamboat Springs 0 Cortez over here 1.1 and it stays about the same we go the next 10 days and it stays about the same so what you get in the next three days pretty well going to be it and you can see that this high pressure is just dominating here it's been dominating since the beginning of January and that is bad news for for Colorado and everything has moved to the north as we look at a wide range here you can see everything's going into western Canada southeast Alaska and that is not a very good situation here and there is a monster storm coming through the Midwest as at the Dubrinic studio we currently have about four inches of snow on top of about half inch of ice with about three quarters of an inch of sleet on the ground currently at the Dubrinic studio here in Illinois. So now let's roll over and check out the snow depth and see what is currently going on because this is what we hope for in the summer. We got a fantastic 47 inches here. We got 45 inches here, 48 inches there. So that's over four feet of snow and you can see all the way through. It comes through here. 36, 38. This is great news as we scoot up a little bit. Crest Butte up here, we got 46. Aspen, Colorado, they have 38. Just to the north of Aspen, 40 inches. So you got a decent snowpack. I don't know what the percentages are just yet. We'll check that out here in a minute. 50% up here. Steamboat Springs is very bright, as you can see. And over at Steamboat Springs here, you have 41 inches. So you have a decent snowpack for this time of year. I don't know where it is in percentage. Like I said, we will find out that here in a minute. Up here in the Green River, you have 46, 44 inches of snow as well. And you have a good snowpack all the way down here, almost all the way to St. George here. And just to the north of St. George, you got 19.5 inches. So this is really good news for Lake Powell. They definitely need a lot more, but we'll take what we can get and we'll see what ends up happening. So this is very good. And I want to now go over to the snow depth and see where they currently are. So here we are at the upper Colorado. You can see 112% of normal right through here, 115 there, 102 and 103 down here. The upper Rio Grande, which doesn't affect the Colorado, is at 84%. Yupa and White 102, Upper Colorado Headwaters 112, Gunnison 117, and so this is not terrible. We definitely need an above average, so let's hope this continues to trend up. But like I just showed you, there's very little snow in the forecast for the next several days beyond this, so this is good, but we definitely need more to come as these numbers will start going the opposite way as we get closer and closer to March and April if we don't get no precipitation. So not too bad for about middle of the season, so we'll take what we can get, and it's better than nothing. And not a bad average, considering last year was below average. So we'll take, let's roll up to the Flaming Gorge and see what those water levels currently are at. 
Okay, we are at the Flaming Gorge water level, and the water level for the Flaming Gorge is currently 6,017.77 feet MSL. Tuesday, February 1st, 2022, 12 a.m., the level is 22.23 feet below full pool of 6,040, and the thing has increased 0.2 in the last 24 hours. So let's roll down to Lake Powell and see what those water levels currently are. Lake Powell water level. The water levels at Lake Powell are 3,531.43 feet MSL Tuesday, February 1st, 2022 at 12 a.m. The level is 168.57 feet below full pool of 3,700 and the lake continues to fall 0.32 feet. Just unreal. Can't believe how much it's come down. The further it goes down, the longer it'll take to fill back up. So just remember that. And this thing is losing at least two inches a day this is crazy 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 stuff and let's all we can do is hope for more precipitation let's roll down to lake mead and see what's going on down at lake mead Lake Mead water level, 1,067.06 feet MSL, Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022 at 11 a.m. The level is 161.91 feet, below full pool of 1,229 feet, and the lake continues to drop 0.8 feet since yesterday. This thing's not as bad as Lake Powell, but it's continuing to drop, and it's pretty far down. If you remember right, this thing can only go to 950, so we are, we are roughly... 100 and 117.06 feet away from Deadpool for power making so that's terrible we are at Lake Mojave water level the water level at Lake Mojave is currently 641.79 feet MSL Wednesday February 2nd 2022 at 11 45 a.m. the level is 5.21 feet below full pool of 647 feet and the increases since yesterday 0.04 feet and now down to Lake Havasu for our final stop of this video and we'll say hello to Brad. Hello Brad, I hope everything is well. And the water level at Lake Havasu is currently 447.52 feet MSL Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022, 11.30 a.m. The level is 252 feet above full pool of 445 feet and this thing has increased 0.31. And that is all I have for today. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking out another Dobritic Channel production and you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.